Hi, I'm Eric Paulson. I'm going to show some armbar attacks from side control that are very useful. Okay, this is Trent Mao. I'm going to bring Trent in with me. So the first thing I'm going to be in is side control. And uh, usually I'm always trying to get from here, I'm trying to get the underhook. And once I have the underhook, then it makes everything very easy for me to attack. If the arm is in front, I'll probably switch and take an overhook and block the hip. But for the underhook, I get the underhook right here. The first thing I'm going to do is lay my body weight down. I'm going to slide my bone on the back of his arm. And this is a crunch, just a crunching, look, look here, crunching arm bar like this. Now the reason I do this is either I'm going to get a submission here with the crunch. And then what I'm going to do is lift my head and allow his arm to come out in front of my face. And that's going to allow me to hit the the arm lock or the Americana. So the first one again is I'm just going to crunch it and I'm going to open my and I can put my hand here and he's going to start to move his arm right into the mouse trap. That's the first one. The second one is very similar but what I'm going to do is his arm is now down here like this. So when his arm is down I'm going to put my forearm on his shoulder so there's no play with his shoulder and I'm going to drop all my body weight on his form and, and so I'm getting an arm bar with my shoulder, my bone on the back of the tendon tricep and then I'm pushing this down for the arm bar. What will happen is he'll start to turn his arm to alleviate again setting up this the arm lock. Now the third one that I like to use is uh, very popular and if he's even holding me tight like this, and he's got a really good grip and he's holding me super tight, all I've got to do is push his face away and it loosens his arm. This will allow me to step over tight and arm bar here. One more time. This one is one of my favorites. He's holding me tight. So what I do is I push his face away. Notice how his arm weakens. And as it does, I step here and then I hit the arm bar. What happens is some people will start to turn their arm downward like that. So when I go for this arm, he, that's it. So now look, I knee down lift and sit. Now I pull and stretch and make sure his thumb is facing his legs. So that one again, he's holding nice and tight. So I push, I step here and I start to get the crunch and he just manages right now to turn his thumb down to alleviate the pain there. So look, I put my knee down. I lift his arm up to create space. My knee slips in here and I grab and he's, look at my hand here and I'm pulling and squeezing and arm barring it here. Keeping his thumb facing downwards so he can't escape. My next arm bar is anytime I start to get this lock here, the Kimura or the double wrist lock or the Gaku, Gaku Udigarami, what happens is as I start to try to take it, he'll straighten it out. So this is the motorcycle grip. And as I do it, I engulf his arm and I bring it here and that's your arm bar. So anytime I rip this out and I try to take let's say the Kimura or the double wrist lock, which is the Udigarami, we call the chicken wing, which is the oldest name for this lock. He straightens it out and we come around, we fold it, and then there's a wrist lock on the end. Our next lock from here, from side control, this one's really fast. And anytime I have this underhook, I'm gonna bring my knee next to his head and I'm gonna bring my knee here and I'm just gonna pinch it. This is a fast one. And the knee next to the head stops him from moving and escaping. What he will do is roll his thumb down. And as he does that, then I'm gonna to start to work this. And the key on this is the lift. Okay. So again, he's got the underhook. My knee's gonna come next to his head. My knee comes onto the stomach. And I rip and I shave his arm. Another variation of this is here with the leg up. 
you could do it this way but I think this is really really powerful and solid and he'll naturally start to roll his arm and then I naturally will come back to the double wrist lock. The next lock from here when I have an underhook is I'm going to go knee on belly and as I go from here I'm going to pop the knee on belly and I'm going to step over his head and then I'm going to sit and squeeze and this is actually my inverted arm bar. So this is an inverted arm bar from knee on belly. I'm here, I'm holding, I go here, I lift, I step, I squeeze here and fold the arm. When I get this lock and have the underhook, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to slide my knee across, lock his face like this, then slide my other knee and this is the inverted arm bar. It's a pretty advanced move, but you can also get it from here. Watch my foot, my foot comes to his belly. I put my forehead down wide so he can't bridge, push his face away and put my shin here. You can also do it just straight from side control. You come up to knee on belly, keep it down, push his face down, put your shin here. That's called the inverted arm bar. From this position, it's called Kazuri Keizugatami. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up high and then I'm going to put my hand on his head. Then I'm going to step my leg over and then finish the arm here. Okay, since I'm a lot bigger than him, it's a little bit harder for me to conform to him, but when you're here, keep your hand here. The reason I do that is because when I go to step, he can lift his head up. That's his defense. So I hold their head and then I bring my foot and then I squeeze. And a very similar one to that that I like to do is I'll go like this and a lot of times their arms will be in front like this. So all I need to do is hook. And as I hook, I step and I squeeze and finish it here. So I just, all I'm going to do is hook the arm here, step, squeeze, and finish here. Okay, from side control, I, I rock the boat, and as I rock the boat, and I lift my knee up. This one's really slick. And it's only done with just a body rock. Same thing, he's blocking my hip, so I make sure he's blocking. Then I go here and I hip, and I figure four. I lift, I step, and then I sit, arm bar. One more time, I have the arm, I make sure he's blocking my hip. Now I use my hip, and as I do that, I figure four, I lift him up, I step, and I sit, and bring my knee up in arm bar. The last arm bar that I'm going to do is, as I said, I, I did not get an un, uh, uh, I did not get the underhook. So when he's defending here with his arm here, I take my thumb and I overhook his shoulder and I put my hand in his armpit. Now when he pulls his arm down, I still have his arm. So go back. So his arm is here. Watch his hand. I'm going to block. I'm going to walk, look at my hand, I'm going to keep it nice and tight, and I'm going to walk up to my feet, and then twist, and pull in the arm ball. Okay, so one more time. So from here, Kazuri Keza, he's blocking. Look how I bring my hand over, I block his hip, I keep my head down, I walk up, my hand stays tight, there's no way he can pull his elbow out, I have too good a control. Keeping my head down, I crunch my bone, onto his rib as I tripod. Now when I lift my head, I grab his wrist, pull his arm away from his body, slide away, and finish the arm bar. From here, I'm going to stay tight on the post. I'm going to bring my leg up, and I'm going to start to hook here. And these are going to shear together, and that's going to allow me to get into the arm bar. Okay, one more time. From right here, reverse helicopter over the arm, and then right here, I want to hook it back. 
just like that. And I want to hook it nice and tight, and I want this knee to shear together, and then this will come over and finish. So it looks like this. Boom, tight, knee tight. Look how easy that is. If I fall back, this arm is here. So now I come back to the crunch, tap, or to the pickup, to the forearm bar. Tap. 